Hello everyone, my name is Juni Lee. I'm a postdoctoral researcher with the Blot Research Group at ETH Zurich. And today I'll be presenting our paper titled Geometry-Based Teaching of Structures Through Computational Graphic Statics. Graphic statics is a graphical method of um, designing and analyzing structures. So there is a form diagram uh, and a force diagram, uh, one representing the form of the structure and the force diagram that represents the force di distribution in the structure. So if you want to know the magnitude of a force in a particular member of the structure, you simply measure the corresponding edge in the force diagram, and that is the magnitude of the force. Such an intuitive way of using vectors to analyze structures was a very popular and useful method of designing structures in the 19th century, where these uh, truss structures with the help of the um, rise in the steel industry saw this boom in these uh, truss structures where these uh, linear members could be analyzed with um, graphic statics. And a lot of the prominent structural engineers at the time, uh, including um, Eiffel, uh, Gaudi, and most, a lot of the famous uh, Swiss engineers, such as Robert Maillard, used graphic statics to uh, build uh, and design uh, these famous structures. But practical limits of graphic statics uh, were quickly um, evident. Um, so as structures start to become more complex, the form of the force diagrams start to become complex as well. And before the time of computers, drawing such complex diagrams by using hand uh, became very quickly um, tedious and time consuming. So a lot of uh, structural engineers throughout the 20th century um, stopped using this method uh, in favor of more computational um, analytical methods. However, when graphic statics is combined with uh, CAD and computational tools that are readily available today, the drawing of these form and force diagrams not only become easier, but also these drawings can be built and constructed parametrically so that afterwards uh, the user can interact with them in a dynamic manner with real-time feedback so these dynamic drawings can be useful for not just designing structures, but also teaching of structures. And computational graphic statics um, is widely um, active field of uh, research in this uh, structural design field. Um, and it is very much a emerging and exciting field with a lot yet to be discovered in the near future. Graphic statics has a special uh, home in ETH Zurich. Uh, Carl Coleman, who is founder of uh, Graphic Statics, who also wrote one of the most seminal books on graphic statics, was a, um, one of the first professors of uh, civil engineering at ETH Zurich. So graphic statics has a long tradition of uh, teaching both architecture and structural engineering students at ETH Zurich. And a lot of Carl Coleman's disciples at ETH Zurich has taught graphic statics uh, to their students as well. And more recently, um, Professor Josef Schwartz and Professor Philip Block have revived this method by combining graphic statics with computational design methods to contextualize it in more modern um, architecture and structural engineering practice. So last year, the Block Research Group had this fortunate opportunity to develop two new courses, Computational Structural Design 1 and Computational Structural Design 2. And the first of those two courses focused on uh, computational graphic aesthetics. So the entire objective of this course was to explore new structural design opportunities by combining graphic aesthetics with computational tools. The course was divided into six modules, uh, gradually building up in complexity and depth from 2D, simple 2D structures to more complex 3D spatial structures. In module one, the students were taught the basics uh, for the fundamental principles of graphic statics on paper. After which in module two, the uh, students were taught how to use Grasshopper, the linear programming language to procedurally construct uh, simple parametric drawings uh, of uh, single node uh, structures such as this one so that they can dynamically move around um, points in the force diagram to explore what the consequences are in the form diagram. Gradually building up in complexity, module three, students use Grasshopper to construct form and force diagrams for multi-node structures. 
such as these um, arch structures with multiple hangers. And now the students can um, build and explore more complex drawings to explore more force driven design explorations. In this particular case, uh, force constraints by setting force constraints in the force diagram to explore how it can uh, explore more uh, constraints of form explorations. In module four, students learn how to use algebraic graphic, graphic aesthetics, where the form and the force diagrams are now can be um, constructed automatically to explore much more complex uh, structures using geometry and topology. And in module five, uh, students learn how to use stress network analysis and uh, Rhino Vault to use uh, form and force diagrams in 2.5D to explore um, uh, form finding of these shell structures using form and force diagrams of the uh, horizontal projection of these complex shell structures. And finally, in module six in 3D structures, uh, students learn how to use polyhedral reciprocal diagrams to explore um, structures in 3D. Um, so in this case, uh, students learn how to use the force diagrams, which are polyhedral cells, to relate back to uh, the other methods previously in the class. And they also learn how to use these um, ge geometry of the force diagrams to develop fabrication geometry. This course was developed by the BRG, but um, with the help of various PhD student instructors who I'd like to acknowledge here. And thank you very much for your attention. And I look forward to meeting you virtually at the conference.